Welcome to lesson number five. I'm going to teach you how to create drop down boxes uh, and very, very simple if statements. So let's begin. Um, to start with, we're going to create a little toggle, a drop down box that says who the last person that edited this document was. Uh, because we're passing it between uh, yourself and Charlie, your make believe friend, uh, you need to have a little switch uh, that says who the last person was that edited it. We're just going to do this for fun. So uh, to start with, we're going to Right over here, the last person to edit. Okay, and I'm just gonna fold that and I'm gonna make a little border around both of those. And I might color it just for fun. Okay, now we're gonna click in the cell where we want the drop down list to appear. And then we're gonna go data, data validation. And you'll see here if we drop down on our lists. We have this option here, list. Okay, and we can specify somewhere in our um, spreadsheet. For example, if we wanted a list to say all the different ways in which you can get money, I could highlight these and then press OK. And now my drop down will have all those things that we highlighted before, but we don't want that. So we're going to go back to data validation. And we're going to change it from that. And we're going to type it in manually. So you could write down your name. So don't write what I write. Um, I'm going to write Mr. Epsi. But you can write whatever you want. And then the next person who's going to edit it is Charlie. So write a comma. And then write, you don't actually have to have a space either. Charlie. Okay, so the two options for our drop down will be Mr. Epsi and Charlie. Or you can put your name in there. Um, and press OK. And now if you click on the drop down, we have two options and you can change those two. Okay, so the way this would work is if you were to be the last person to edit it, you would choose your name and then you'd save it and send it on. Uh, yeah, so that's a simple drop down box. Next up, if statements. Now, if statement allows you to create a specific function or display a certain text based on a condition. Okay, kind of similar to conditional formatting, but it uses a formula. Okay, so we're going to start uh, by creating a target. So if our combined total reaches a certain amount, let's make it 2,000, uh, then we'll, that'll activate a little message that we will create later. Okay, so to start with, I'm just going to highlight this and make, a, make it merged and centered. And I'm going to write our target is reached as a question. I, don't know, I might just capitalize that just for fun. Our target is reached. That's a question. I'm going to make that white as well, uh, yellow. I'm going to merge these two again. I'm going to make that have a border around it. Bold it too. Okay, now this is where we're going to write our formula. I'm going to write equals if open bracket. I'm going to choose this cell here because that's where our total is. If i8 is greater than. 1,999. Okay, because that means it'll be 2,000 or more. So if I8 is greater than 1,999, comma, then we're going to make it say something. So we're going to make this cell that we're writing in display text. And so I'm going to write yes, because our target has been reached. In talking marks, because talking marks means it'll display text. Then write comma, and this is where we write what happens if it is under 2,000. So I'm going to write talking marks again, no. Okay, and we close the bracket, and this is our formula. So our formula says if i8 is greater than 1,999, display yes, otherwise display no. Press enter, and at the moment it says no. Our target has not been reached because our target is... 2000. Okay, but if I was to increase this birthday money, just hypothetically speaking, maybe I'll just plus 500 onto that. And as you can see, it's 2160 and it says our target has been reached. Yes. Okay, and if I was to manually write this 1999, our target hasn't been reached. As you can see, the formula works fine. Um, this is an if statement. Again, you can use these in conjunction with other formulas. You can maybe say, you know, if 
This equals that, then times it by something else. Okay, it can be used in uh, an innumerable number of ways. Okay, so that's basic if statements. So once you've done both of these, I want you to save your work and then you're done.